Hey, it's Joseph here. I'm always trying to improve my own setup, and this is again the partial of that. A teleprompter from newer has arrived. The model name is X12, and supposedly accommodating anything of a screen size of 12 inches. I was actually on market for getting a teleprompter, and I actually saw this specific model at $130 US on Amazon, so I was gonna pull a trigger, but actually, Newer decided to send me a review sample for me to test out and unbox and showcase to you guys. So yeah, I kind of saved some dollars on that and hence why I'm doing this video right now. So I am quite excited to unbox and test out this specific unit. So let's get right into it. On the box, it shows the picture of what it's supposed to be. Obviously the tripod is not included, nor the camera or the iPad. So what you're really looking at is just this part over here. Only thing that is worth mentioning is the fact that this is foldable, angle adjustable, supports wide lens and DSLR cameras and phone and iPad type of stuff iOS and Android I'm actually trying to use my 11 slash 12 inch monitor that is attached right below my camera and then turn that into overall teleprompter so I would actually be using Windows for the teleprompter projection purposes so I'm yet to see how that would actually work out or not but we'll test it out okay so it's got nice carrying case I guess this is the front newer I did not expect this the briefcase to be included so yeah it's got the logo and I suppose you just open it up we are seeing some paperwork the user manual for the remote joystick however you call it and then overall assembly guide perhaps for the overall teleprompter which i may consult later on if i'm troubled so i'll leave it right here with some customer contact points and then cleaning cloth for the glass and then we've got the remote that looks like a gaming joystick it's got the direction control this almost looks like a switch controller with even the trigger button i suppose you can just put triple a batteries on the back and then connect via bluetooth is what i'm guessing so for ios devices and android you can connect via bluetooth and control the screen and in my case i would actually be controlling with a mouse so that is not necessarily needed but it might make a good gaming controller and then here is a phone mount i'm guessing you use this if you were to use your phone for the camera purpose so you can just clamp it on it's got the quarter 20 mount on either side i've had plenty of these c-shaped clamp for the phone so put that aside and then here's the cloth or the cover and for teleprompter this is needed because you gotta make sure there is no light that is being emitted on the camera side so you're gonna use this cover slash hood to make sure everything is covered well and then here is a bit fragile piece perhaps with the glass and this was pretty much what was holding me back when I was trying to DIY my own teleprompter without the mirror glass you'll be seeing the screen twice as you look at the teleprompter and doubling of the display made it really difficult to read any text or information when I'm actually casting anything to the teleprompter so that is what it's got and that's probably why it is so expensive and to make the frame around it that is somewhat functional and universal to the camera they range from several hundred dollars to thousands of dollars if any I was really glad to find that newer had a budget oriented option and I really wanted to try this one out so if you're interested in obviously I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to purchase as well so I need to somehow figure out how to unfold this and set it up okay so I need to undo this knob all the way and remove the c-shaped bracket okay so just undo 
this screw over here and then it removes this C-shaped bracket which allows this thing to be angled like so. Here is the peel. And then we're gonna pull this out. About 45 degrees will do for this. And then the back of it, there is a zipper. So I suppose we just need to zip that. And then this is the side where the lens will go in. And then you can just tighten with this over here. I suppose I can just adjust the position of where this bracket needs to go because there are plenty of holes, but I'm gonna have to adjust it as I mount the camera. So here on the top, there is a quarter 20 thread that you can just thread it on. And I happen to have a camera over here. So I just line that up and then just thread that in. And once we develop all of this, we can probably do a quick release plate on top so that I can dismount the camera easily. But for now, we'll just stick to without the quick release plate. I suppose this is to kind of raise the camera so that it can kind of look into the middle section. Okay, so that is all secure now. And I just need to put this hood on. Yeah, so it seems to be looking just fine through this glass that you can't see through. And that's the point of this. As you can see here, I'm gonna be talking and then you'll see me just fine. But then on the front, you can even see where the camera is. It's a glass and you'll be able to read whatever that's on the glass. So for example, it's actually telling me to download the app in May teleprompter. So I just need to go to find either iOS or Android store, the Google store to look for in May, I-N-M-E-I. So we'll give that a shot. Obviously there are different type of teleprompter apps that you can download. So here you can see that notes, here's a text, and then you can just enable the mirror mode. And once you do that, the text flips, and then you can just place it over here, and then you can see how you would be able to read it, but just proof of concept. So here I can just talk and there's gonna be my hand on the footage off of the camera, but you can just read off the text and that's how this teleprompter works. Okay, the view now has changed because I'm looking at the teleprompter right now and then I trust that I am looking at the lens at this point, but I'm also seeing other scripts that are around as well. So I spent some time setting this up, but you can see that my screen is over here and you don't really see any lens element, but effectively it is just bouncing the display onto the teleprompter so I can actually read it. But I can't really read that. So there is a few things that you need to do on your computer to make sure that it is flipped, where the text is flipped or mirrored so that you can see and read the text. If you look over here, I am having the screen that is being mirrored onto the down screen, but the text is not flipped. This is the outline that I had wrote for my one of streams. So there is an extension on Google Chrome called Mirror Page. And once we activate that, you'll see that the text flip horizontally and then on the teleprompter you'll see that I can actually read those text so come here and then I'm using mouse to kind of scroll move the screen like so and then at this point I'm just reading laptop versus desktop hardware's price performance portability maintenance and longevity so no sort of NG takes and I can just read off of those things and I'm still talking to the lens at that point. And there is another website called telepromptermirror.com. I'll leave a link in the description for both of the Chrome extension and this website. But you can actually paste these texts on here and there is a button over here that you are able to flip the text. Once you do that, you can just read those texts off of the teleprompter. And in terms of overall setup goes, here is a teleprompter. I turned off the light because there 
there is a reflection that is coming off of here. It is not apparent to my eye, but it is quite apparent on the camera. So I just kind of had it turned off, but just so that you can see it a bit clearer. So there you can kind of see the camera and it is just looking into the teleprompter. And then the display goes off to my computer and then it is just connected there. So that is pretty much what it is doing and this is what I was able to set up with a given time and uh, space limitation that I have. And because Windows 10 doesn't offer you native support for flipping the image, it actually states flip horizontally but it actually means it's just rotating, not really flipping. So the native functions don't really work. So you have to use different methods such as the extension on Chrome or different websites that's gonna flip things for you. And there is a third party software that you're gonna have to pay in order to flip the image. I wasn't really going to do that, but I'm actually quite happy with this. So I can just set it up into the center and then just read off the text as I need to, and then still look at the lens and engage the eye to eye contact. Yeah, overall, I find this teleprompter to be quite useful. I'm gonna have to spend some time to build this whole thing in to my system over here. However, I wanted to show it to you guys how all of these things are working together and what my aim was. And yeah, there is the proof of concept. So hopefully this video was useful for you. If it was, please like and consider subscribing to my channel. I'll also leave teleprompter link in the description for you guys to go ahead and purchase that as well. It is a affiliated link, which means that it doesn't cost you anything extra. It is just going to have a small earning for me to continue supporting this channel. So I would appreciate if you would use that link. And thank you so much for watching as always. I'll see you next time. Bye.